Hi everybody. In this video, I will show you how to work with InfluxDB database in Factory Talk View Site Edition version 14. Uh, now it's possible to use the Datalog Pro functionality with the embedded database that you have installed on your PC once you install Factory Tall View Site Edition version 14. So let's see a little demo here. We have our PLC uh, in Studio 5000 running uh, and pointing a simulated PLC with Factory Talk Logix Echo. And here we have our uh, SCADA Factory Talk View with such faceplate showing the three values. Uh, we have three tags on the PLC uh, running as a sine wave variable. So you can, can have a um, uh, record on these values. Uh, first of all, as real time here. And on the other hand, on our database that you can find here. Uh, so we have the three signals, IoT data zero, IoT data one, and IoT data two uh, in different frequencies. We have here the first scene wave is at one hertz, second signal is oscillating at two hertz, and the third one is oscillating at three hertz. Uh, time base is not exact here, it's just a simulation. And uh, well, uh, here you have all this data generated by Factory Tall View, and you can also change the um, time base, like for instance, like last five minutes, depending on the sampling time, you see different uh, lines of cubes. And this is how it's done. Let's take a look again at our um, uh, SCADA system. If you go, you just need some variables and using the uh, data log pro. You just open this data log pro and you navigate through your uh, for total links communication driver. You locate the tags and you just click add to populate this collection of variables that will be injected into the database. In this case, at let's say this one, for example, critical each one second. You can you could also do every time it changes and so on. And once you have this configured, uh, this is all. You're ready to use. And even if you, it's a, this is a service. Even if you stop the um, HMI or let's say SCADA faceplate, you just stop it. Okay. And you can see that since PLC is still running, the service is storing the data in the background, as you see here. Okay. Only when you stop the service, if I exit this um, SCADA system, like I do here, exit, <coughs> you will see that the data lock process is stopped and you don't get more values 
If I go to submit, you see that here the sampling process is stopped. Okay? And uh, this is all what I wanted to show you today. Thank you very much.